Hi, Andy S. Harrison from Airspeed Historic Motorsport. I'm going to take you for a tour around his workshop now, which is very much mortal inspired, as you'll see. But we'll start with his wall of fame. What we get at this garage is we get quite a lot of well-known people sending us pictures. There's quite a lot of the photographs on here that involve me as well. We've got a signed one by Guy, Guy Martin there. We were involved with him at the Goodwood Press Day uh, about seven or eight years ago, and he sent us a signed photograph after we'd, we'd had the weekend with him. We've then got Brom Burrell, who's a really famous rally driver from the late 60s, early 70s, who rallied a, a maxi on the London to Sydney Rally and the World Cup. And we do quite a lot with Bron, and she signed me a photograph. And if you get closer, you can see the things that she put on it. Below that, there's a picture of us at the Goodwood Festival of Speed Rally Stage in 2018, which was celebrating 50 years of the London to Sydney Rally, and they kindly invited us to go and take part. So that was a good thing. Moving across to us racing a good friend, Rod Shaw's Alfa Romeo, Julia, at uh, Mallory Park in an Alfa Romeo race. And then one uh, sort of poster come photograph that's quite poignant for us is this. This is Tony Lanfranchi racing a Lotus Cortina at Monza. Well, Tony Lanfranchi were a famous Bradford racing driver. And his cousin, who follows us around racing, says he sees a lot of me in him, which is either good or bad. I'm not so sure about that. But as we walk down the, the, the Hall of Fame, as we call it, there's all sorts of different photographs, a lot of me in different cars, customers sending me photographs. That was a customer who sent me a picture of the DB5 after we got it running right. A lovely photograph from Monaco, taken by one of the F1 photographers. Our work's Van at Goodwood. And then we've got Bandini at Monaco, who's one of my favourite old-type drivers and one of my favourite Ferraris. <clears throat> We're still coming down here, we've got, this is quite a good one, is the motorsport calendar that we get every year. And it's become, it's the first thing I order at the end of the year for the coming, so 2021 we'll have one of these up. Finishing off with the airspeed clock, which knows when people are in late and if they're leaving early, it, it's got a big alarm bell on it. So it's great, great pictures, an original Rush poster, but we like the photographs, it makes the garage. More mortal products around the place. We get quite a lot of oil paintings done of the racing that we've done, as you can see. Now this is poignant. We ran this. This was a famous driver back in the 60s, Rauno Altonen, who won the 65 RAC Rally in a mini. We actually look after that mini, but Rauno Altonen shared with us at the 2011 Goodwood Revival, which was one of the best moments of my racing career. We'll come round. The team were hard at it. Look, Ben, always working hard. Look, probably got a coffee in his hand. Along with a lad I grew up with, this is Mike Nolson who navigates for me but helps me with all my racing. PA for A Speed, Jane, which is also my girlfriend, which I get reminded of quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're moving around the workshop. You obviously saw earlier we were filmed. We've got a quite an unusual frog eyed sprite here if you want to move across to it. It's actually one of the Healy inspired ones that were made in the Isle of Wight. So it looks like a frog eye sprite, but it's one of the later incarnations of it. It belongs to a really good customer of ours. I'm going to move across to this uh, MGB LE. It's coming for detailing. This is quite common sort of work that we do here. So it'll be fully serviced, it'll all be detailed. It'll be serviced using full mortal products, which is what we do with all his classics. But if you see the little white dots, sort of marking out all the marks and dings on the body we're doing a full detailing on it but it's a really rare one of 450 le's we'll go through into the other workshop for you looking at all the work that's waiting to come in the chap that owns the frog eye next door owns this quite a famous orgle here which actually we store and prepare we've got the wheeler dealer car so this is the 1964 2020 mini which we're preparing uh, for mike brewer uh, it's one we're quite proud to be doing because I'm good, for, good friends with him and he asked us if we'd do it so I'm really enjoying doing this one. Uh, we move across <clears throat> to Laura who's one of our lady racing drivers and we prepped this car for Mighty Minis and this will be out in 2021 once again using full mortal products. Through Primrose which is Ray Lowe's this is one of his business customers which we explained earlier on this car lives with us and then when Ray comes and says he wants to race let's say I'll give you an example last year he wanted to race at Zanvoort sends me an email and says I want to race at Zanvoort in September we just make sure the car's there it's what I call arrive and drive really good customer and I really like this car we've got quite a good car here which means an awful lot to me now owned by the jeffrey family 
but this was my is this is the car that i say put us on the map this is 72 ace this is a good it was a goodwood regular it's done four goodwoods two members meetings done numerous press days really close to me at this car uh, we sold it four years ago and we now run it for the jeffrey family matt jeffrey races it and andrew jeffrey is is the owner of the team Moving across to a car that is owned by another good customer of ours over from Ripon, and that's a car that Christian Horner from Red Bull raced. Uh, he also raced this, funny enough, Christian Horner joining this car, but then he raced that car as well, so it's quite apt that we've got two Red Bull cars here. This is our race prep shop, but we're waiting for our new prep shop next door, and then this will open up and we're going to have bays, uh, and this will only be race cars only, so there'll be engine building going on in this corner and all the race work. I hope you enjoyed the tour.